Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures and today we are bringing you another episode of Jewelry Detectives and today we have Monica from Keeping It Real with the Millers with us and Angie from Treasured Vintage, my co-host. Let's welcome them. Yeah, thank you. So, so excited. <laughs> yay, I'm excited too. I can't wait to see all the goodies that you have. So what did you bring? So um, I don't have jewelry jars, so I couldn't bring that. So what I did was I've been really interested in getting involved with other types of jewelry besides I do Disney. I love Disney jewelry, but I, I see it all around and I just don't know enough. So I have been slowly picking up pieces from like garage sales or from thrift shops. So I made my own jewelry jar. Oh, <laughs> but I'm an organized freak and wanted to be really prepared so I could get through as much as possible. So I have it like all marked up and know how much I paid and what it, I've already used my loop. <laughs> so I'm all good. <laughs> awesome. So, um, and I have it in order. <laughs> That is so awesome. So I don't mean to interrupt you, but I'm wondering if I've got my side chat. Am I on the wrong one? Lonnie keeps posting a link for the new show. Um, let me just refresh and make sure I'm on okay. the right link here. Oh, I see you. Lonnie gave a super chat, $5. Oh, he did? Yeah. On the one I'm seeing, it says, let's get this started. Okay, I'm on the wrong link. Oh, no. Hang on one second. Uh, we're all patient. Sorry. Oh, now I'm on the right wing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Monica. Thank you, yeah. Lonnie. You're so sweet. Oh, he's so uh, sweet. I'm on the right one. Am I or here? Dwayne. Dwayne gave the super chat. Thank you, Dwayne, for the super chat. You're okay. awesome. Um, okay, Angie, do you see if you're not on the right link, Lonnie put the new link and the old the old one. There's Lon Lonnie. Oh, so I just click on that link, Angie, and you should take you to the new one. I think I'm on the new link. Do you see Dwayne's super chat at the top? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what do I have to do? So look in the chat for the old one, and Lonnie put the link to the new one there. Just click on that, and it should take you right there. Yeah, but see, my ch I don't have the chat on my... Uh, do, I, do I need to open a new... <sighs> Let me get Facebook back up. It's it's in there. You go. It's in Facebook. That's what I did. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, I created the link yesterday, and I don't know if a link is only good for so long. But um, when I shared it out this morning with Angie and Monica, all of a sudden my start broadcast button was gone, and so I had to create a new link. Did you get it, Angie? Uh-uh. <laughs> we'll wait for you. Yes. Tell, tell Lonnie to send it to me because the one that's showing up in the chat isn't the one. Um, Lonnie, could you send uh, Angie? It says new link, and then underneath it has these letters, but over here where Lonnie has his, it doesn't look like the same one. In the chat over here on my iPad, here, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, good. Lonnie says it's a random glitch, Tanya. And okay. then Dwayne says it was the man trying to keep you down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh, my goodness. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and Steve and Steph say, freaking man. Yeah, say hi to everybody in the chat, Monica. Okay. So Belinda's here. She was one of the first ones here. So uh, hi, Belinda and Debbie and Max go thrifting here and Tiff's Thrifts and Got it. Mothership Products, Dwayne, Fran, need more stuff. Bel oh, I said Belinda already. Crafty Reseller, Debbie Keith, Steve Steph Resell Colors are here. And Debbie and Max go thrifting oh. here. Now we have... This <laughs> That's the worst is not to hear yourself. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, let's see. She'll probably come Kristen's back. Kristen's Curiosities, Uniquely Me. Awesome. Nine, five, four, seven, two pickers. That's Henry. Hey, Henry. 
Hi, Henry. I think I, I hope I didn't miss anybody. Cheryl Silver is here. Don. I don't know how you guys do it with these last names. I'm like horrible <laughs> with people's names. No, you're doing great. Wanna, like, Thank you. I'm not sure anybody's name. Uh, Lonnie says he's actually listing some rings right now. Woohoo. Yeah, I got matching headphones. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, Steven says that I like your headphones. Yeah, and I got a nice. I love it. Now, you showed that in your video you did on yeah. my channel. I remember it. Is that yeah. a, is a little airplane? What is it? Yeah, so it's a, not a little. It's pretty big. <laughs> it is big, isn't it? <laughs> and it's all wood. Um, most of it, there's a, like a little bit of plastic beads. Um, it's super cute. It's Am I in the right one? Yes. Oh, Thank good. You. Did you get your um, the chat up? Yeah. Okay. Know. Good. 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 <laughs> my iPad. <laughs> but it has like this super big. Oh, yeah, that is really cute. But yeah, it's really. It's really stupid, it Monica. I thought it was really something, Angie. I thought of you when I got it. <laughs> uh, does it have an airplane on it? It has an airplane on it. That's all. Watch out. Up. You might be in flight here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> It's My adorable. I just thought it was really interesting, and it's all hand painted. It's it's just yeah, it's really kind of cool. So I think you're gonna up. keep that one. I would totally. Keep I don't that think one. I'll, I'm not a big jewel. Like I love jewelry, but I don't wear a lot of it. Um. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Well, you rock it. Well, it looks really good. <laughs> like I gotta at least wear some jewelry for this show. So. <laughs> Right. It looks like candy. It, it, it like makes me want like a Neko roll or something. Yeah. Right. I'm like, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, those so, candy. I think that's the only necklace like I really wore was the candy necklace. So you yeah, can eat it on the go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you okay. want to start with your uh, favorite piece? Let me get this. So my favorite piece is not Mart's. I found it at a garage sale. Um, I got it for a buck, but I just thought it was the coolest. Okay, Angie, here I go. Oh my goodness, I love that. Is that not the coolest? I love it. I know, and the details of this thing are just yes, amazing, it's beautiful. So that was like my first piece, and it is. I was really, I thought it would be Mart's because of how like detailed it is. But um, I just had to share that guy with you guys because, like, I just fell in love with that. And I don't know that I'm going to sell this. <laughs> I don't know that I'll wear it, but it's just so cool. It's pretty big, too. Yeah, it, it is. is. It is pretty big. What would you pay for it? A dollar. Oh, wow. That's a good deal. Right. And she had a bunch of other stuff. I think she maybe sold at a – we have one antique mall. And it looked like stuff like that was sold in there that maybe she closed down or something because the other prices were really, really high. But this oh, one yeah. didn't have a price, so I asked your son, and he said, a dollar. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> and you know what? If you don't want to wear it, you could always take it off and put a magnet on the back and, like, make it a refrigerator magnet. Oh, yeah. That's, that's cool. another way to, you know, look at it and see it all the time without actually wearing it, I guess. But that's a different show, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a crafting show. I want to be on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that is super cute. I like that. So then I and I found this at a garage sale too. So I find them a lot of garage sales lately. But um, can you guys see? Oh hmm. yeah, a little owl. But I think it used to be on like if you look, like oh. it used to be a pendant for you know. Oh yeah. And the like, markings on it are JJ. Okay. Do you know what that is? It's just a capital J, capital J. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the... Um, Johnette the Jewelry. Yeah. What is it? Johnette Jewelry. Okay. J-O-N-E-T-T-E. -E, Johnette Jewelry Company. All right. Um, I've they, never seen that one before. They make a lot of figural um, pins and... Yeah, they're very popular. They are popular. So that was a good buy for a buck. Yeah, definitely. And I and I meant I didn't mean like I haven't heard of JJ. I meant like I've never <laughs> seen that little <laughs> see that piece. Yeah, that little bitty <laughs> owl one. It's so cute. It is so cute. 
um, that, yeah, they would call that a pin pendant or something like that, or pendant brooch. Or okay. they, put that, they put those two things together because they, it's either or. You can wear it as a pendant or a brooch. That's really That's cool, though. So then, um, do you guys know what, ever heard of Red Owl um, grocery store? <laughs> okay, so it might be just a Minnesota thing. I don't know. But it was huge grocery stores back in the day. Like my grandpa used to work at one. Like you just always went to Red Owl. Um, and so when I saw this, it reminded me. This was kind of. Oh, I love it. That is adorable. It has googly eyes too. You don't see those anymore. So you that's don't. Not yeah. Piece. I bet it's a 50s piece at least. There's a part of it right here that's missing, like to keep it so it's not like it's kind of loose. Like a little screw, maybe yeah. something? Yeah. But they're really, I don't even know if I can see. That's what the screw looks like. It's really yeah, interesting. I see. Mm -hmm. And this is Mart Florenza. Oh. <gasps> That's a good brand. Okay. Wow, I've never, I've never had come across that brand. That's a very good brand. It's too bad it's damaged, but yeah. yes. That's so would it be worth taking to a jeweler to see if they could put something to fix it, or sure. just leave it as is? It's really cool, though. I'm not sure if it would be worth that or not doing that or not. To tell you the truth. Yeah, uh, if I, I would just list it as is and just um, okay. put that in the description. So I paid two dollars for that. Definitely look for comps on that and okay. look look up Florenza, look up that um okay. you know similar because that's a good uh jewel. People collect Florenza a lot. And yeah. one of the eyes looks a little damaged too, but I thought it was really cool. And that's what it reminded me of. And I paid two bucks for it. So Yeah, but overall, I mean for the age of the piece, it's in great condition. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. That's so, so cool, I thought. Really cute. Yeah. Somebody's going to want that. And I would double list it, too, on eBay and Etsy. Do you have okay. an Etsy store set up, Monica? Well, I have an Etsy store. I've not listed very much on it, and I just don't know enough, like, what I should do as far as um, to get people to come to my store. Do I need to be marketing myself? Like, I that's a whole nother, like, show we should do. <laughs> <laughs> right, I agree. Yeah, I mean, like, go ahead, Angie. I was going to say, I think people make a lot more out of the marketing part of Etsy than needs to be made. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I think maybe years ago it was more of a thing than it than maybe it is now, or maybe I just don't even think about it anymore because my my shop's established. But um, yeah, it's it's not that difficult. I think if I think the same rule applies to Etsy as it does eBay. The more you list, the more you're going to sell. Okay. So you want to build your shop up. That's your main goal. Just put the listings in there. Don't worry so much about social media or or people following you or favoriting or anything like that. Because the more things you have in there, the more exposure you'll have, period. Okay. Right. And another good way to kind of get your store out there too, Monica, is – I pin my stuff on Pinterest. Yeah, me too. And that's so, something I'm start. I need to learn how to do and kind of. I don't really use Pinterest <laughs> like most people do, um, so I have to. It's stuff I need to definitely learn how to use it and that kind of stuff. So yeah, and maybe I should make like a quick video for our yeah. jewelry group because um, yesterday I shared out uh, that we're going to start doing Pinterest parties. Yes, at I least. Saw that. Yeah, at least once a week, and there just wasn't a whole lot of uh, participation like I was hoping for. So maybe if I make a quick video and kind of show people how to do it, more people yeah. would want to do it. And Definitely. it's so much fun. I love to look at everybody's jewelry they're selling, and that's a great way to do it right there. Yeah, because I've tried to pin some stuff from my eBay store, and it's been very, very difficult for me. Um, my The link, when I go into my listings, doesn't work for me. It doesn't connect to my um, Pinterest. Oh, okay. So, and I've tried contacting eBay and Pinterest and haven't had much luck in helping me do that. So, oh um, no. But yeah, I definitely would love to learn how to do that and definitely need to do more with my Etsy store. Yeah, get that built up. I mean, like, even if it's only listing one item a day, 
Like just commit yourself to one item a day on Etsy. Yeah. And you know, in 30 days you can have 30 listings. So yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I try to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. So the next thing I have, um, so we have a store that's kind of antique but thrifty. I don't really know where she gets her stuff. And a lot of times her items are really high priced. Um, but um, I don't know. So that's what I'm kind of interested to know because I bought a bunch of pieces and that's what I have in here are some of them. But this is. Oh, that's um, pretty. So it says it's a gr Grunz Grunzi. And it's made in Austria. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, okay. Like it's like a little pin, right? Yeah. So in the pin part of the back. Okay, so what's like the brand on it? It's G R U N T L S E E. And it was made in Austria. Wow, have you looked at it? Tried to look I it haven't up? yet. Nope. Oh, um, wow. I have a little insight on that pin. Okay. Um, there are pins like that that um, people bought whenever they were um, traveling. And they're like souvenir pins. Okay. I actually have um, probably at least five or so of those types of pins that are that have enamel on them, and they say like Switzerland and Austria, and they have like Edelweiss on them, the flower, and um, so that's a that's a pretty pretty common um, type of a, a pin to have. Um, they do sell. Sometimes they're long tail, but um, if you look up a souvenir Austrian pin, you okay. should probably be able to find something like that. Yeah. You said it's from Austria? Yeah, that's what it says that on the back. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see it, but it says made in Austria. And then the clip yeah. just kind of bends down a little bit. That's what that looks like to me. I mean, okay. I, it's very familiar looking to me. No, I paid three dollars. <laughs> Would I have paid too much? Uh, maybe. Okay. Um, they might go for fifteen, maybe. Okay. Um, but sometimes they're long tail. Uh, depends on the piece you have. Okay. Yeah, but if you're anything like me, Monica, when I don't even know, like I don't recognize the. Um, let's see. I don't. I want to get this right because I know Bonnie was complaining. She said that. Real jewelry has hallmarks, but costume jewelry is just what, Angie? Marked? Or Sign? Sign. Something like that. <laughs> but I don't know about you, Monica, but like I get really excited when I see something that's signed. And yes. I don't and I don't recognize it. I'm like, oh my God, it must be valuable. I've never <laughs> seen it before. <laughs> yes. And when I first started, it's so interesting because I have a question for you guys. Um, and one of my questions is how do you know what pieces of Avon, Avon, I'll say that for Morgan and stuff, Avon, Avon. because my daughter says it that way too, Avon, and also the Sarah, is it, it's Covington, is that what, it, it's C-O-V? Covington. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you have, have a lot of it, huh? I have an Avon, Avon bag with some pieces, and then I have a lot of this, of Sarah's stuff and so I'm just um, of course when I first started like I didn't know like I wouldn't bring my loop with me I don't even think I had a loop at the beginning and so I would just grab anything that I saw mark so as I was going through it for the show I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> yeah, so much of especially her stuff so how do you know like for somebody who's new like me how would you guys say like is it never worth picking up Avon? I, I definitely wouldn't say that. Um, I, I would still continue to pick it up. I know that Angie collects, will collect the Sarah Coventry until she gets a lot of it, right Angie? Well actually, I, I just, here's how it works for me, for Sarah. I usually don't buy it unless it's uh, something that's, that's really a, a rare piece that I know it's probably 
there's not many of them that, that I really like that it's pretty. I'll buy it, but normally I don't buy it. But if I buy a lot of stuff and the Sarah happens to be in there, which happens lots of times, then I'll take it out and put it in my like collection because <laughs> I just collect it that way. Normally I don't buy it because it's not that it's not nice and everything. And the same way with Avon. Um, I was watching Thelma Thrift's um, video and she had said she hates when people say, I watched that too. I saw it. <laughs> Avon, and I'm like, oh, gee. <laughs> I think oh, right. <laughs> but there, it's not that I don't like the pieces. It's just that the market is pretty saturated with with the, both of those Avon and Sarah Coventry, um, but there are you can make money on it, and you know, it's definitely right. nice to nice to sell. There are still people that buy it, and it's nicely made stuff, and especially if you get rare pieces. Right. So, this is an Avon piece I found. Well, that's and nice. That is pretty. And what I like to do too, Monica, is what you might want to do is you might want to type in like Sarah Coventry and then go look on eBay at the solds and sort highest okay. to lowest and then do the same thing with Avon too. And then yeah. that way you can see firsthand what kind of pieces from Avon and Sarah Coventry are selling for really good money. And there will be some. Right. Now, Angie, yeah. like the lot, like you said, you're getting kind of a collection. Will you eventually sell it as a collection? Like here's a bunch of Sarah's pieces. Is that kind of your goal, what you think you'll do? Or yeah. will you put it in like just a lot of a bunch of different jewelry? You know what? It's kind of exciting to to build this collection and to, and I love to find out the names and the dates of everything. So it's kind of a little project. I don't know if I'll sell it or not. It's kind of on the hoarding side there, you know, because I have like two boxes full of it. And I'm like, yeah, I really just want to say, I have, because I have a big bag now started of her stuff. And some of her stuff is really cool. Like it's really oh, yeah. nice stuff. And I oh, have like newer yeah. stuff and older stuff. So mm -hmm. like, those are some, I don't know if you can see them, some old earrings. I don't know if they're old, but they look old. Yeah, well, I've enjoyed collecting her stuff too. So I might become a hoarder of her stuff now too. <laughs> okay, so I have a question for you guys from Lonnie Garage Flips. He says, "Do you think putting used jewelry in nice new boxes might ha might make them more likely to be bought as gifts around Christmas time?" Well, that couldn't hurt. I don't know if that would be the case, but I would think it would help. Yeah, um, I would think so too. I would think it would all of your jewelry pieces in the little like jewelry boxes when you send it out nope no i just use like these those little bitty um i forget what they're called or is, i can't i'm not even gonna guess but i buy them at the dollar tree and they're usually by the baby shower stuff and they're like i think they're called organza bags maybe they are mm -hmm. yeah and i just cheaper on ebay by the way if you buy them in bulk you can buy yeah. them organza well, they're just little, little like net netting. Uh, oh, yeah, you and they had some, Monica. I think I saw you had some. Oh, yes, exactly. yes. That's exactly it. Yep. So you just put them in there, and then do you put them in a padded flat rate, or a pad not, or just a padded mailer, or do you put them in a box then to mail them out? Do you ever see plate foam? Plate foam. Um, the foam like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Plates. Well, it's real easy to rip like a strip of it off. Okay. And so instead of using bubble wrap, I get plate foam and uh, I just rip a piece that is the size of my jewelry. And I will, like, if it's a pin, I will just roll it up in the plate foam and make sure it's nice and, you know, padded. Mm -hmm. and then, I'll, then I'll wrap it in um, tissue paper and then I'll put it in the bag. Okay. And, yeah, that's a great tip, that plate um, foam, for sure. And then do you mail You don't have to use your scissors. You just, like, hmm, pins this big. Let me rip okay. that stuff off of there, roll it in there. And yeah, what it. do you mail it in? Like a poly mailer or? A bubble mailer. A yeah. bubble mailer. Okay, great. My, somebody pays a lot for a piece. Like, I have somebody, that I have, I'm finally going to sell one of my camphor, um, camphor glass, uh, necklaces cameo necklaces and it's going to sell it's on reserve it's going to sell for 149 wow if person buys it um so it, 
I'm going to put that in a box. Like okay. if it sells for that right. much, it's going to go in a box. Um, to hire and pieces, put them in a box, and okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and pieces like that have, um, you know, like the rhinestones or the like the uh, what am I, what's the word I'm thinking, like shell type stuff. I always put those in those little eBay boxes, the six by four by four. Like I shipped out some little, two little uh, kitty cat, like little scatter pins. So I had like the jelly belly little mm -hmm. uh, pins. And so I put those in a little box just because I didn't want them to get crushed in a mailer. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So I have two, is it Trafari? Uh -huh. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Is that a good brand? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So my first one I got is. Ooh, that's pretty. That that's is pretty. Is that, that a pendant? Yeah, it's. It must have been on a necklace because it. But it's missing the necklace piece. But and it looks like it's missing. The there must have been a middle one of these. Oh no! And it's missing. Yeah, that's another. unfortunate. Yeah. And I paid a dollar twenty for this piece. But a lady, um, she had a bunch of different jewelry, and so I just picked up a bunch of different stuff. And yeah. The other one I got now is this. I'm thinking this is like a sweater type clip. Okay, Angie, I'm having the problems you do. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a lot better than I was doing that day. That's a. A, a sweater guard or a sweater chain, that's really a pretty one. Is there any missing pearls? One. Uh, it's really pretty. Yeah, oh. one missing, like right in there. But otherwise, they're all there. Now, it would be worth it to see if you can find something to put in there because okay. normally I don't sell stuff that has anything missing on it. Okay. Um, even that Trafari. Uh, pendant. I don't know what you would do with that because I, I don't know. I would put probably I would probably put that in a lot of okay. stuff. Yeah, in a lot, or you could craft with it too. Yeah, okay. you could craft with it. So, like, if I found another little pearl piece that would match, how what kind of glue would I use? It's probably some kind of special jewelry glue. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. I, I use super glue, but that's probably a no no. I will tell you that right now. I think there's a special jewelry glue that you're supposed to use. Okay. Yeah. There's they definitely make jewelry glue. I have some around here. Uh probably get that at Hobby Lobby or Yeah, okay. Hobby Lobby, even Walmart. They have a Walmart really has a nice section of crafting stuff for jewelry. Oh, okay. And they I, even have jewelry display stuff too. Yeah, but they're a lot it's a lot more uh, expensive than Hobby Lobby. I those boxes that I got at Hobby Lobby for two dollars were six at Walmart. So oh goodness, around. Plus, you can use that forty percent off coupon at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> you, what forty percent off coupon? You don't know? Do you do you have the app on your phone? No. Okay, download the oh, Hobby yeah. Lobby app, and um, you get forty percent off any item that isn't on sale. Oh my! Thank so, you. Like, you don't yeah, even yeah. have to have the app. I sometimes just go in like um, my search engine and just type in um, Hobby Lobby coupon and I'll pull it up there. So I don't even, I don't have the app either, but I would do it every, I like, yeah, every time before I check out, I go find it. My kids get annoyed with me. They're yeah. like, do it before. <laughs> I'm like, I figured. Maybe good little bit of money. I mean, like we've gone into Hobby Lobby and bought a gift for Madeline um, for a birthday party and got like half off of it just because that's like, you know, the only thing we got and it wasn't on sale. It's a good way to save some money. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's great. Thank you. I did not know that. So Debbie and Max Go Thrifting is asking, do people still wear sweater clips? I, I sell them every once in a while. I don't know if people buy them or to collect or, or wear, but I do right. sell them once in a while, but they're kind of long tail. I very rarely ever see them out in the wild. I mean, they're not very common, I wouldn't think. No, they're not, no. You don't see them like in the newer jewelry. Not that I'm in there all the time, but. <laughs> so I have these 
clip-on earrings. They're Deloren. Hmm. Not familiar with that name. It's a D with the apostrophe O R L A N. Oh wait, is that Beyonce's brand? I think hers is like House of Darion. Oh, okay. I was gonna say something. Let me look. Okay, I'm gonna try to get closer. Like the part for the clip-on is looks older. Yeah, that's that's they call that thing a comfort pad. But if it's all grody, I, I, I might take it out unless you can think you can clean it. Yeah. Would you replace it or just keep it out? I would just take it out. Okay. Yeah. I usually take out those pads too. That's right? It's kind of like a dirty sock. You don't want to buy somebody else's dirty sock. <laughs> if they look really clean, I, I leave them in. But if they are. Oh, I think they need to come out. <laughs> they don't look very clean. I picked those up. I got those for a buck twenty-two. Yeah, I've never heard of that either, I don't think. Okay, so I have this one piece. I don't know what, but I have, I, can, I don't know how to screen share. Can I screen share once I show the piece? Because I took a picture of the marking. Sure. Uh-huh. Okay, so you'll walk me through that? Sure. But it's. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is. And then the chain. Just a rope like. Can you see that? Am I too close? And then that's the. It has a little hang tag on it. Is the hang yep. tag marked with something? Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can. Just do... looking at that um that type of uh that band, the necklace or whatever. It looks like it. I would say that would probably be like from the '80s. What do you think, Angie? Looks like. 80s jewelry to me too yeah okay do i just hit screen share um let's see so you're going to touch screen share and then you're going to want to choose the window where whatever it is you want to show is at does that make sense i think so do you have a cat monica yeah i have two <laughs> <laughs> i thought i just heard a cat meow uh, it could be me i got this cold too so <laughs> it could just be me all right I'm just going to share my entire screen. All right. And then I'll just bring. You'll have oh. to tell me, can you see it? Yeah, it's Premier, okay. it's Premier Designs. Okay. Yeah. Oh. They have a distinctive. Uh, uh, did I stop sharing? Yeah, you did. Okay. <laughs> did you want to keep seeing it? <laughs> Angie didn't get to see it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you yeah, want to see it? I can do it again. Um, if it's Premier Designs, I do know what they look like. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I know what they look like. All right. Do so, you know, what is that? Premier you know, Designs. That is stuff it? to me is a lot like the Avon and the Sarah Coventry because okay. there is some of it that will sell for really good money. So, and then there's a whole, there's some of it that won't too. So a lot like the other ones we already talked about, but I would definitely look, and I would say it's definitely probably vintage Premier Designs. Um, but I, I would just look on eBay and see what the solds look like for the gold heart uh, necklace. Okay. That one I did pay more. I paid $3 for that one. <laughs> I think you'll definitely get your money back. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's I mean, all I care about. <laughs> yeah, without doing any research at all, I mean, just off the top of my head, I would say at least fourteen ninety nine. All right, let's see. Okay. Well, this isn't the one. I have too many. So you guys would love this one. Oh, I do love that. That is so pretty. Let's, I'll bring it closer. Oh, that is pretty. Is it marked? It is marked. It's marked Pauline Raider. Wow, well, I've never heard of that. I haven't either. I, I bet it's a more uh, modern piece, but I don't know. It looks kind of vintage. This is the clasp. Let's see. Well, then it does. It does look vintage. Clasp. Yep. 
Okay, I'm going to have to look up now. I'm going to have to look at this up. Oh, hang on. Let me look it up real quick. <laughs> Good. I thought it was really cool, though. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, Pauline. Pauline, P-A-U-L-I-N-E, and then it's Raider, R-A-D-E-R. -E so I don't know if you guys can. There's Mark right there. Well, um, I might have to screen share this. Are you finding stuff? I have found some stuff. Um, wow, that is a statement piece for sure, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I am excited about this piece, you guys. I'm going to have to share, so hang I'm on. See. All right, let's screen share. Okay, can you guys see what I'm looking at? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I sorted yeah, yeah. the lowest, and I her pieces seem to be really like gaudy and like statement yeah. necklaces, real chunky. Um, I would definitely say you got a home run with that piece for wow. sure. And I paid a dollar twenty for this. <laughs> okay, is, is there anything missing on that piece? That so doesn't seem not... to be anything missing. Okay. Um, Monica, are you? can you see the screen okay? Yeah. Okay, notice how the ones I'm looking at right now are starting low, like they sold for only about $25? Yeah. And then it increases? Yes. Also notice how there's not very many available. No. Okay, so don't sell yourself short. When you list this piece, bare minimum, I would probably list it for about $74.99 at least. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. At least. Because if you can't find another like it, Right. I, I'm always going to list high if I can't find another like it. And then you can always incrementally bring it down, you know. Right. Right. But no, all, everything's there. It's an, I mean, it needs to just be cleaned up a little bit, but it's pretty cool. Is there, is there a lot of wear on the gold tone or does it appear? It, it does look oh, like somewhere. Yeah, in the, yeah like, there is somewhere. And but I'm hoping maybe I can find it. it. Yeah. And you know that that piece might look really good on a black background. Okay. Yes. Agree. But I thought that was a pretty cool. I'm liking, I guess, the big um, standout pieces. <laughs> See, and you know, I don't know about you guys, but the older I get, the more willing I am to wear like big and gaudy jewelry. Like, I just don't care what people think. I mean, if I like it, I'm gonna wear it. It's fun. It's yeah, it's such a fun way to express yourself. And your personality. Okay, let me just ask you about two different, just the signatures and tell me if they're even worth showing you. So one is Givenchy. Oh, my, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, Givenchy. 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 Yeah. But the thing this is I don't think it's worth anything because it's broken. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So upset, but they're really cool. So they're clip-on earrings. Yeah, they're broke. They're but this one's broken. Oh yeah, the other you one isn't. Are I you buying? <laughs> are you buying this broken stuff, Monica? It was a lot. Oh, okay. I was gonna say because don't. So I got a lot, and so it was like I think like forty some pieces. So when I figured what I paid for everything, I paid about a buck twenty a piece. What did, did they say? Did they say in the lot that there's broken pieces? It, it, she just had a bunch left over from her sale, and so she just sold me a bunch of oh. it. So, yeah. So, um, but, like, that's where I got this piece. The piece I just had shown you was in there. But, like, Tanya, um, you had that video on single earrings. Yeah, that's what you, true. What do you think about that? Um, I guess I would look to see if any any are selling. Okay. And if there is a demand for those, I would definitely probably list it just as a single. Okay. All right. That's and a then good just idea. throw the other one in as a bonus. <laughs> All right. If you want to repair it. Yeah. Type yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the other one is, um, I don't even know how you say it. I don't know if you can see it on my sticky note. Yeah. Raphaelion. Raphaelion. I've never heard of that either. Me neither. And this might be one of those things that 
Angie talked about um, is Ooh, like a souvenir. Let me look um, it up real quick. I don't know what, what kind of. I don't even know what kind of flag. Is it enamel? Yeah, it, yeah, it's enamel. Yeah. How do you spell it? Spell it, Monica. It is R A F A E L I A N. I I A N. Mm -hmm. Is it a, like a pin or a brooch? It's a little pin. Okay, let me look it up. Oh, let me screen share this. <laughs> Another one? Another winner? I don't know. Maybe. Let's look. Okay. So here is a, a little rhinestone flag. It looks like it sold for $17.05. I've never even heard of this brand before. Have you, Angie? No, I haven't. What did you pay for it, Monica? A dollar twenty. Oh yeah, I think you could get at least fourteen ninety nine okay. for it. Rhonda says it's a, it's a uh, souvenir piece. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That was a good one, yeah. right? Okay. So, Monet or Monet? Monet. Are all of Monet pieces worth picking up? <laughs> I would say it depends on the content. Like, I would say it depends on what it is, right, Angie? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, um, if it's just like a pair of really simple earrings that look so run of the mill that you just know you've seen lots of them on eBay or, you know. Uh, and and they're asking like three dollars for them i might pass on that okay. but if it's something like a statement piece or something really different or a nice pair of hoops that are like um they call them wedding band hoops <coughs> um i have sold them for pretty good like 23 dollars to anywhere from 23 to i think 30 couple for these wedding band hoops so, so that's like another brand that's like were to go and kind of really research what it's selling, what yeah. it has sold yeah. and stuff. You know, I yeah. think that's pretty much the the rule, you know, on any any <laughs> jewelry. Okay. You know, you just gotta look for, you know, your comps. Yeah. And, and pretty much, you know, there are the good brands and then there is the junk, but. Yeah, but, I agree. And also Monet is good quality. I mean, you know, that gold, like the gold tone jewelry, it's really going to hold up, I feel like, to the test of time and uh, last. What you got now? This is a Monet piece. That's oh, pretty. that's pretty. And the class is really cool. So it has, I don't know if it's, okay. So that, can you see that? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then the other part. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like it's just adjustable, so you can make it. Yeah, you um, can adjust it. Yeah, and then it's just got this little clip part. It's a hook, hook yeah, clasp, hook that you put hook in there. Machine, yeah. And I got this for thirty cents. That's, That's really pretty. That's that a really cloth. pretty. Catherine says that seventies Monet is collectible. Um, hi Karen, at the beach. Hi Karen. Hi. All right. So this is a brand called EXP. Have you heard of that one? That sounds like a newer brand. It's really long. <laughs> I think it's a oh. belt. Yeah, is that Express? Is that Express? Here, let me see the hang tag. I was looking up that gold necklace uh, or money. Uh, what is that? What does it say again? I'm sorry. It says EXP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Express. Okay. Like, it says made in Korea. Yeah, I think so. Hang so on, I'm looking at. I think it's a belt though. Oh, is it pretty long? Yeah. And it's got it's got to be not as old because it does have the lobster claw clip. Well, I just looked up your red Monet necklace. I think you can get at least ten dollars for that. Nice. 
Yeah, I would say that might yeah, be a good for us. Okay. But you could still sell that on eBay. <clears throat> So these don't have markers. So if it doesn't have a marker, is it usually always costume jewelry? Yeah, I mean, if there's no hallmarks on it, um, I would definitely say it's it's probably costume jewelry. It's it. I would say it'd be rare and few and far in between that you find a really a real gold piece that wasn't marked. What do you think, Angie? Yeah, I agree. So, have you ever seen something like this? Let's see here. So, this is the top part of it. I don't even know how to. What is and that? I don't even it know. It has, I hope you guys can see these, but it's the Ten Commandments. Mm, okay. Well, let's see the top part again. So, that's the front. What's on the other side? Is it does it is it a way for it to clasp or it's like a clip? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like a it's not like a bookmark, is it? No. I was wondering if it was. Like, does the page fit in there? I think that's a bookmark. And then yeah, it's got the ten commandments written. Like a Bible bookmark? The bottom is just a, a there's nothing. That's the bottom. Thing on the bottom. Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure what that would be. It's kind of an awkward bookmark if it's a bookmark. Right. <laughs> that would be in my lap more than it would be in the book. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty long. Yeah. Hmm. That's really neat. I like that. Uh, people yes. in the chat are saying they think it's a bookmark for the Bible. Bible okay. Bookmark. okay. Thanks for one of the big big Bibles. <laughs> Yeah, big Bible. And then this yeah, that's one. A, that would be worth looking up, I would think. Yeah, it. definitely. This Maybe. one isn't marked either. I have to make sure. Um, I know what that is. That's a nice piece. Do you know you know what that is, don't you, Tanya? I'm sorry, I was gonna go look up that bookmark. Hang on, let me see. Uh, looks like a bracelet. Oh yeah, is it the damask or how do you say it? The Dam damascene. Damascene. Yeah, damascene. Damascene. That looks, that looks like a real a real piece too, as opposed to the faux pieces. How Can do you, you hold say it up it? again? Yep. And then you're gonna tell me how to. You're gonna spell it for me. Oh wow. Yeah, that looks like a real piece. All right, let me look it up. How do you spell it? D A M as in Mary A. S as in Sam, E-N-E, S-C-E-N-E. -E. I always have to write stuff down. Yeah, S-C-E-N-E. -E. Is that right? E -E. Holy moly. Those can bring some good money. We're going to screen share. <laughs> yeah, wow, is it marked in any way? Mm -mm. I didn't see unless it's just somewhere I don't know where to look for the mark. Yes. Now they'll have sometimes they'll have Spain on or Toledo or because look at these time, prices you guys eat in Spain. But the this clip is really interesting. Like you push this clip in mm -hmm. to pull it out. Box clasp, I think they're called. Yeah. I have not seen, and I've looked. I need to clean it a little bit, so I don't know if that will show, but I haven't seen any any markings on it. I mean, just by looking at the solds, I would probably list that for $49.99. Okay. Now, how would you suggest, like, on a piece like this, how would I clean it? I wouldn't try and clean that. Okay. Would you, Angie? Well, um, unless you just slightly clean it, like with a Q-tip and and maybe some alcohol or something like that, just go over it, like okay. like maybe really gently. Yeah, I thought this was so cool though. Yeah, that's really unique piece. Joanne okay. in the chat said about that last Bible bookmark. She said yes. advertise it as a bookmark for Bible art journaling. That's oh, okay. Bible art 
journaling. That's a good thought. Good tip. I have all my notes everywhere. But that one, this one too, I paid a buck twenty. That was a good price for that. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming to the end. So these ones are ones that I have found. I just don't know enough. Like if this is a like a Avon brand. This is a Lennox. Um, ceramic. Oh, that's pretty. Dove pin. No, that's not Avon. It's Lennox is actually a, a brand. Um, oh, I know. I didn't. I meant like, is it similar to like how Avon's oh, look? Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> I don't really know. I I I've sold like Lennox um, ornaments and stuff, and there's kind of it depends on which one you get, you know, as far as the money. Yeah, that's what I was. Right. Thinking. That's what I was. So thinking. I'm that's probably. Do you see my screen share, you guys? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So probably about ten dollars, Monica. All right. Oh, there's one for five. Yeah, but don't sell yourself short. I always go on the higher end. Just make your pictures look really good. Yeah, that was my suggestion coming up too. Just the prettier the picture, the better the sale. What about La Sof La Sof Sof Sophia? Uh, Leah Sophia? Sophia? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't really know a whole lot about that. I know I've come across it a lot and I've looked it up, the solds, and they don't really sell for that much, so I never okay. pick it up. What about you, Angie? Leah Sophia and Premier Designs, pretty much along the line, same lines. They're they're a company that has parties and you know oh, okay. kind of same type of deal. Okay, I didn't know that about that. I Leah Sophia. Hey, sure they have parties. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I thought they did, but okay. Now I did try to look this up because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to put this in because I. I really tried to look it up before I did this, but I got really mixed reviews. Um, some of the stuff, it's SAQ is what's marked on it. And when I looked it up, some places said it was a part of Avon, and then others said it's its own jewelry or it, that's its own thing. So I, I brought it more just to hear what you guys have to say. It's just a bracelet. I think I remember you posting that in the jewelry group. Is that the one you posted in the jewelry group? No, I posted that other one that has that weird mark that nobody can figure out what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think somebody else posted about this marking, maybe. Okay. Right. Is it like Saks, the Fifth Avenue, or? It just says SAQ. Oh, SAQ? I thought you said SAK. SAQ. S -A yeah, I'm not familiar. And when I tried to look it up yesterday, last night, some it was really kind of mixed. Some people said it was its own thing. Some people said it's like um, like Avon will ha go, um, be with other designers or something, and that that's what it was. So this is all that I saw on eBay, SAQ uh, for SAQ silver bracelet. So it doesn't look like. What there is available is selling for very much. All right. Um, I don't know. That might be a piece. I just might go ahead and put in a lot. What do you okay. think, Angie? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I Ooh. got through all the stuff I had put aside. Is that <laughs> all of it? That's not all my jewelry. I still have some over here that I can Green pull wants from. to know. Which of which of the us has his bracelet and is there any detectiving going on with his bracelet? <laughs> Tanya. Tanya. Uh, okay. Did he mail it to one of you? Yes, he sent it to me. That would be me, Dwayne. I still have it and I am making a note right now to send it to Angie. Oh boy. <laughs> because I can't tell. It's FF something. But I, I just I, I think I found it actually. I, I messaged Dwayne, but now I don't remember what it what, what, what I messaged him. So I have to look back in the in my um 
messy just to see what that was. But I did find find a company named FF something. Really? Well, it was two names. F something. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Okay. <laughs> did you have any more you wanted to show, Monica? Well, I, I want to ask two questions. Okay. So one, I and I know it's been talked about a little bit, but um, the best way to clean, like, so when I have Disney jewelry, I have an ultrasonic and I will put most of my pieces in that with just a little bit of Dove soap. I know this type of stuff, everything I've been reading is no, do not use the, you know, ultrasonic, which is fine. So what are some like for newbies, what are some tips that you would have for cleaning? A lot of times I just use a polishing cloth. It's, you know, right? What do you think, Angie? Yeah, a lot of times it depends on the piece. If it's a really durable piece, you can pretty much tell if it's going to be able to take a, a, a heavier cleaning or not. Um, I'll use a soft cloth um, if it's really, really vintage and really old and, you know, but yeah, I don't use, I wouldn't use the ultrasonic thing. Yeah, and I'll be very honest, I don't clean a lot of my jewelry. I'm scared, I don't wanna mess it up. And a lot of people like for the piece to come, like if there's a patina on it or something, they want that on there. Okay. Now, I noticed and it was brought up, I think, I can't remember if it, what group it was, but they were talking about a specific type of polishing cloth. Like they called it a certain, I should have written it down. Now, are is there a better polishing cloth? Like, is there a difference between polishing cloths? Like, does that make sense? I don't know of any difference. Um, Angie? I just know that I have some that are really, really old that I got I think when I bought like really good jewelry at the jewelry store, you know, when I was young and those are the, just the cloths that I use all the time. There's, there's like, it's like a two part cloth. One part is like for polishing and the other part is like for buffing. And I got them at the jewelry store. Um, when we bought jewelry like years and years ago. So I doubt if they even, they probably sell them on Amazon or somewhere. Um, I know they don't give them like they used to, you know, back in the, like the probably seventies or whenever I got those, you know, yeah. they don't, they're, they're not about to give you any cloth to clean your jewelry with nowadays. Nothing's going to be given to you. Right. <laughs> yeah. I and, where, where I got them. And I've even gotten jewelry like that comes in little pouches and the pouch itself actually can clean like sterling silver, you know? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My last question is, so I tried to buy the chemical kit. I did not have a good experience. The chemicals exploded all over and no. stuck so bad. Yes, it was bad. I did a video on it. It was bad. Um, and it's been, I've been battling the seller at Amazon to get my money back on it. So it's been really interesting. But what I was wondering is, is there another way besides using the chemicals for a person to test the jewelry or is it better to just not even like for like the stuff I have here, is it okay for me not to test it? That's one of my questions. Should I buy another chemical kit and try it again? <laughs> so you, bought it? A, you bought a kit like with the gold testing carrots <laughs> and everything and yeah. it exploded on you? It came, it came, yeah, it was leaking. All, I mean, they had it in just a little, mess. yeah, it was a mess. It stunk really bad. We have it out in our garage because they keep asking for more pictures of it. And so I haven't bought another one. And so just wondering, should I buy another one? Is, you know, I do have, I have my diamond tester. Yes, that's good. I'm glad Angie isn't here. I use it all the time. Even though I know it's just to try it out, just to get you to do it. <laughs> and I have I a would, ton of, you know, the magnets. So I have like three different magnets, but. Yeah, magnets are good to use for sure. Um, and another, another little tip you might want to do is like just some facial powder. 
Um, I'm trying to see if I have any, but if you put some on your, uh, like just any kind of little powder, and you can put it on your wrist, and then if you like want to test to see if it's gold, um, so you just get it, and then you see it's on my hand here, and then, well, this powder is not very good. <laughs> my ring is real. I swear it is. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let me try this Avon powder. It's supposed to leave a best powder I have found for testing jewelry. I bought it at the Dollar Tree, and it's called LA Gear or something. But you can see it kind of leaves a black mark. Okay. Can you see it right yep. there? Yeah. So that's another way you can also test. Um, but I think Gold Tone might do that too. I actually bought a, a, a tester that I have not used yet, <laughs> but it was it was really expensive. I'm kind of ashamed that I haven't used it yet. But oh, it, Roland Picker, Michael just sent a super chat. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Michael. Nice, Michael. Um, it it uh, is this. It's called. Uh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it's called <laughs> Gem Oro Article. AGTI Deluxe Kit. It's it. You just lay your jewelry on this, uh, right here, and then it has this probe thing that you just touch it to it, and then it has this um, gauge up here that it goes up to you know 14 karat, 10 karat, whatever. But it's you know it's like hundreds of dollars, and I have so cool, Angie. Have any to use that and do a video, <laughs> a review yes, video, please. I know I need to. Well, I have to. There's actually a YouTube video of the guy demonstrating this and using it. So, um, I, I need to watch the video because you have to calibrate it every time you use it. Oh, so it's not. It's not maybe that. It seems like it's easy to use. But um, I just need to do the calibration thing and all that first. But um, yeah, it's it's no mess, which which I'm gonna love. But um, yeah, it's a pretty neat little thing. So that is That's very cool. Neat. But I have an Amazon card that I have points on, so it really didn't uh, it cost me that too much. But <laughs> it was expensive. Yeah, but they're expensive. So that's what I got. So I'm looking forward to testing. I have a little bag full of gold that I'm pretty sure is gold that I'm going to test. That's awesome. You should totally do a video on that, Angie. Yeah. I should totally, yeah. I, I'm sorry that I haven't been doing videos. It, it's uh, It's been crazy. But um, there is a, um, if, if I can say about my channel, is it okay, Tanya? Of course. Something? Please don't even ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this big uh, sale on Saturday. It's outside, and it's where they have cheap jewelry that I usually go every year. And so uh, exciting! Yeah, so I'm hoping that the that the people are there and that I can get some jewelry. So uh, I will, should have some kind of a some videos coming up. Yay! Awesome. And then I have wow. some jewelry. Did you do you have jewelry, Chef? Oh yes. Let's see your jewelry. You, did you wear any? I forgot. I was in a hurry today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling patriotic. Wow. Let me get nice. it on myself. So. Yeah, I'm feeling patriotic. So I got my, my oh, patriotic I ring on. Isn't that That's cute? That's so pretty. That's cute. I do not know why. I've had that forever, and it's not selling, and I don't know why. I just think it's the cutest thing. It is. And uh, it's cheap too. I don't. I think I kept reducing it, so I don't think it's that much. And look at this adorable bracelet. That's cute. Isn't that it cute? Is. Love it. So I got. That. Now is all that available in your Etsy store? Yeah, it's all listed. It's in Dazzled by Vintage Etsy shop. So. Monica, did you want to plug anything? Um, I don't even know what I think. My Etsy store is the same as my eBay store, which is Moni's Market. So it's Market. So it's M O N I S Market. Um, and that's my eBay. And I think that's my Etsy store, too. I haven't been on there for a while. I should figure that out. Um, um, you want to talk about your GoFundMe? or? Okay. So 
I am a survivor of child sexual exploitation. So I was trafficked um, as a youth um, from the time off I had two different pimps from when I was 13 until I was 15. Um, and so I've had a hard life. I don't, I talk a little bit about it, but um, a few years ago I went to college and I learned what sexual exploitation was um, in our state, uh, in a lot of states, it's called prostitution, and um, you get criminal, criminal, criminal charges pressed even as adolescents. And um, so it wasn't until I went to college that I learned that there were laws that were saying that this wasn't okay, this was sexual exploitation, um, and that different uh, agencies and states and federal governments were trying to do things um, to make a difference. Um, so I started to become an advocate and started to slowly start to share my story. Um, and so I uh, worked in that field for a long time. I also have another business besides my eBay business um, and the YouTube stuff with Morgan. Um, and it's called Choose, C-H-U-S-E. Um, and so it's choose Monica Miller and it's creating hope and unity for um, people who have been exploited. And so I do consulting work in my state and I go and speak where people like to educate and do trainings. And I am no longer with an agency. So any trainings that I go to for myself, I have to pay for. And um, there's a one coming up in October, it's called the Just Conference. It's a huge conference that's put on by Shared Hope. And um, and they're amazing. If you ever want to know anything about sexual exploitation, um, check out Shared Hope. Uh, and they're a Christian organization. And they were a huge, huge um, push into the United States actually acknowledging that um, prostitution and brothels and that type of stuff were even happening here. Um, and so I have gone before, and I think this year there'll be 800 individuals from all over the country that come, um, different presenters. And so I am trying to raise money to go. Um, I did get a donation this week from a really special person. They helped um, kind of get me even closer, but I'm still about $1,000 short. So, um, but I'm hoping that I'll raise the money or I have somebody who will borrow it to me if I have to so that I can go. Um, but it's a week long conference and then they have special um, events and um, with other survivors. Last year there was 120 survivors um, there. So it's, it's um, very healing and spiritual. And so, I found out some bad news this week and put it back out there. Um, the agency I worked with before I quit my job um, re-exploited me. They um, sold my story and made money off of my story. And um, they were receiving money from our state and the money came, like they had to renew for the grant. And I found out this week that they did, were awarded the grant again. So it's been a tough week for yes, me, but um, it just makes me want to go to the conference more because my hope is to continue to bring awareness and to educate and to make a difference, um, especially in my state, but I do speak in other states and just to let people know. Um, for me, the biggest thing I've learned is that um, it, it's it's something that take, that every day I have to work through and, and some days are easier, but it's not something that now that I'm out of the life, it's better uh, or that it's gone away, it is better, but um, it's still a, a struggle. And um, unfortunately it has continued to grow. And, and the internet has really um, made that happen. And so, so yeah, I have a GoFundMe page. Um, I don't have the link with me, but no, um, no worries. I'll put the link um, okay. down in the description box whenever we're done with the um, video. I appreciate yes. I appreciate that. And it's been so amazing. Um, the people I've had reach out from this community 
Um, cause I don't have a ton of people on my Facebook. I have like really close friends. I don't have a lot of family besides my family that you guys have almost all met except for my mom. Um, and so it's just been so amazing, um, for all the new people that I've met in the last few months, the just love and support. So I just want to say thank you. Everybody it really has meant a lot to me and also to Morgan. Morgan just loves all of you guys, even though she's like, I'm not coming down for the jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we love y'all too. And your story is amazing. And I think that you're doing a lot of good and that you're going to help a lot of people. I appreciate it. Yeah. I just keep trying. That's all. Uh, if I can, you know, I try to work with as much youth as I can. We have a uh, program here. And so every couple months they put on a, a group and I go and speak for free just to, and help share my story with with the youth and hopefully to they're at risk they're all in foster care and have had some pretty horrific life so if I can try to help them um, not go down or have you know similar things happen to them then mm -hmm. you know that makes it worthwhile so definitely I agree really nice getting to know you too yes. I love sweet. you guys so much <laughs> oh, we love you too Morgan and Cedric yes. and your mom if we ever meet her I know I gotta try to get her on camera she's yeah. camera shy she likes to be on the back end she'll help and like do different things she's so supportive like I've taken over the house with the eBay and the YouTube and everything and <laughs> it just is wonderful I'm very I'm very lucky it's been hard my mom didn't raise me so um we kind of have that chance now and so it's been i mean we've been living together for 14 years um and so it's been really amazing and she mike it's been great for my kids because they don't have dad so they get a two-parent home so it's been awesome but yeah i'll have to try to get her on camera if i yeah. have food and she's around i can get her on camera <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. So Rolly Picker did bring up something. Um, so GoFundMe does charge me a fee. Um, and so if you would love to, like, bypass that fee and use PayPal to send, like, if you want to donate. If you don't want to donate, I totally understand. But um, that's a way for me not to have to pay them. I think when I was talking to him, it's like a 10 to 15% fee that they take. Um, so what is your you, PayPal? How do they pay you? My like PayPal that? is it's um, M O N M O R C E at Paul Bunyan dot net. Okay, when the show's over, will you um yep, I can, send that to me? Yeah, and I can put that in the description box then. Yeah. yeah, and so that would be a way to bypass that. <laughs> bypass those fees, definitely. Yes. Every little yes. penny counts. Yes, it does. So, and I didn't ever think about that when I started this. So he gave me, I mean, some great advice. I'm like, wow, that's a great idea. I wish I would have done that earlier, but. Right, well, definitely. But okay. thank you so much for letting me be on the show. Yeah. It's so much fun. I thank learned you so, so much. much for coming. Yeah, I really enjoyed having you on. Definitely. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks. Be sure and join us in um, a couple weeks and we will be bringing you another Jewelry Detective show. And I believe our next guests are scheduled to be, um, I want to say Max and Ruby, but that's not it. Debbie and Max go thrifting. Oh, good. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're lined up to be next. So um, we will be keeping you guys updated about that show. And I want to say thank you to everybody in the chat for coming and hanging out with us this morning. I really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye, Have a good day. Bye everybody. Bye.